This is the graveyard where Rude Boy and the Scottastics are buried. Like, why do we always have to come to spooky places at night? Yeah. Why don't we come back tomorrow? After lunch? Or never! Guys, those poor dancing people can't wait until tomorrow. They're counting on us to save them. Keep searching, gang. All I'm saying is for once, I'd like to go into the rundown mansion or the haunted crypt during daylight when it's not so sp- <laughs> <laughs> It's Rude Boy's grave! Like, I think there's somebody home! It's Mr. Ian Hope, Rude Boy's old manager! Did Rude Boy do this to you? Where is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's standing. Mm -hmm. He's standing right. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. <laughs> he's standing right behind you. Uh oh. Just got IT improvised track. Get in. Together, you two. They're on our tail. <laughs> well, thanks to some incredibly expert one-handed driving, we lost them. Hmm. Perhaps a little too easily. Hey, guys, look at this. And it had horrible glowing green hands. Right. <laughs> now, did this thing leave a name? Or a business card? Mayor Jones, Sheriff, what happened here? <laughs> Nothing unusual, just a standard scary gnome attack. Aren't gnomes the things people put in their gardens? Posies and pinwheels, Fred. Those gnomes are peaceful creatures. Scary gnomes are something very different and good for tourism. So stay out of this. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, get your cotton candy clams. Just like King Richard used to eat. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I thought the gnome would attack me, but it waddled back into the shadows, never made a sound. This is surprisingly bad. Arrgh! A mystery fair and true. Best we be to avoid it. What says ye, Dogbeard? Aye, scary gnomes know. More cotton candy clams. Aye. <laughs> so it's touch paralyzed? For some reason, that doesn't seem like a gnome power. Goblin, maybe, or perhaps a sprite. Well, whatever it was, it's gonna be up to us to find it. Oh, Fred, you sound so noble when you say that. Hmm. My mom is running the souvenir stand at the ice cream moat. She might know something. Care to come along, peg leg? <laughs> Arr, like Dogbeard and me can always go for ice cream. Yeah, with peanuts and cherries. Ooh. Arr. I mean, crust bones and eyeballs. Arrgh! Is it me, or are pirates basically just hobos with earrings? Well, I guess that just leaves us. Looks like it, my fair maiden. Hey, are those lepers? Like good moat. I'll say. Oops. Look at him, Mom. Is it me? What am I, radioactive? Don't be too hard on yourself, Velma. 
You're quite pleasant when you aren't trying to be smarter than everyone else. But I really care about him, and I want him to care about me. It'll happen, sweetheart. And if it doesn't, Mommy will mix him up a special drink of poisoned mushrooms and wormwood. Mom? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> anyway, about your scary gnome. This should help. I'm okay. You're a scary gnome. Read it. One thing I can tell you for sure, if it is a scary gnome you're dealing with, watch out. They hold grudges. God, that queen was a royal jerk. Yeah, I said ahoy ahoy in my pirate voice, and she stared at me like I was wearing a hat made of live mice. Dude, if I ever found a hat like that, I'd never take it off. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Is someone there? The cartwheeling kitchen, Camels Fred. If you've snuck in here again to conserve body heat by lying across my legs. <laughs> Fred? <laughs> 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 Santa? Wait, no, Dad! Oh, I've got to get out of here! Let me go! But, Dad, what's happened? <laughs> I think it's gone. Like Meet the Hodag, number one attraction of Gene Shepard's traveling cabinet of curiosities. That can't be the thing that attacked Daisy. It's so fake. The Hodag is a master of deception, lulling its victims into a false sense of security before attacking. Yeah, right. What's in the high security box, Mr. Shepard? Something very, very valuable. I only open that box once a year. Like why? It needs to breathe! You dimwit. Can you say suspicious? Suspicious.
Dad? I'm coming! Huh? Dottling Timber Monkey's friend, help! Shaggy, Scooby, I need you now! Zoinks! That sounded like... Fred? <laughs> I am an evil pizza. Like that is so wrong! <laughs> 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 Hold on, Dad! To what? I'm on the ceiling! <laughs> 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 It's a fairway wood, it's safe! It's really quiet out there. To my Encyclopedia Musica, this isn't the first time people have been afflicted with dancing sickness. The Dancing Plague of 1518 struck Strasbourg, France, where hundreds of people danced themselves to near fatal exhaustion. Some say it was caused by listening to cursed and evil music. Huh? Dog boy, you pressed the wrong button. This is the basement. No, I didn't. Like, see? Lobby. Hmm. Must be broken. Listen up. Who are you? And why are you doing this to me? <gasps> What's it saying? I am an old friend, and I want what you took from me. Dad, does that mean something to you? No, of course not. Lady Boudibase. Marmalade. Whatever. Is obviously trying to pull some sort of scam. Ah! My ermine! Oh, you're done it now, man. 
You disrespected the spirits, and now they're mighty angry. <laughs> Dad, I don't know what's in there, but it sure hates you. Dad? Fred! <laughs> Dad! Look at all that gorgeous cheese. Huh? in all this. Elementary, my dear Marcy. We follow the trail of weird liquid I saw leaking from the house. Something familiar about this stuff, but I can't quite place it. There it is, and it looks like no one's home. Come on. I don't see it. Do you see it? No. But maybe if we think in Russian, frozen tundra, borscht, muscular women. Amber boxes! Bingo! Is that it? What Mr. E was looking for? Uh-huh. The third piece of the planospheric disk. We found it! Yeah. <gasps> Too bad you won't be keeping it. How long have you been standing there? Don't try that. You know the concept of time confuses me. Velma, are you working for Mr. E? Yes, but it's not what you think. When you left me behind, I didn't have much choice but to team up with Mr. E. And second, I'm only doing this to stop Professor Pericles from finding any more pieces of the disc. But Velma, you know Mr. E can't be trusted. None of them can. I was never going to give him this. Fred, I'm on your side. be heard from again! <laughs> Look, gang, Mr. Trapples grabbed the piece of the planospheric disk. Isn't he great? Everybody else okay? 
Shaggy? <gasps> Shaggy! Scooby-Doo! <laughs>